Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the video. All my subs and returning viewers, appreciate you joining me again. If you're new here, I create configs for adapters and programs that turn your mouse into a controller. This allows you to get the aim assist controller users have. So I created another config in Rewaz program for Fortnite. You can get the program at readwasd.com. If you need help setting up the program, you can go to my YouTube page, click my playlist, and there's how to use Rewised playlist right here. I try to answer as many questions as I can. Discord is the fastest way to contact me. The Discord will be linked in the description below along with the config I'll be going over in today's video. This config is based off an older config that still works well, although I've changed a little bit in it. I'll link the old config in the description too. If you want to check it out, it still works fine. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and without further ado, grab the config in the description below, and let's jump in game, go over the settings, and talk about the config. Alright, before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about aim, how aim assist works, so you, you know for sure that this is working. When you move left to right, you'll see your crosshair move a little bit with the characters. In this config, you'll see, it, doesn't, it shows mouse controls at the bottom, but... If, I'm, if I untoggle and then hit my inventory, you'll see it, it's on controller. So if I'm out of this, I use tab as a toggle for the bag. So I press tab to toggle off to loot, and I can, you know, I can move stuff if I want. I can uh, set my inventory if I want. I press tab again, and I'm back on controller and aim assist. So how aim assist works... If you look, you move left to right, you should see your crosshair move with the characters a little bit. And in the past couple seasons, aim assist got another buff again. They they nerfed it there for a minute, but then they buffed again. As you see, my controller, it's my hand's not even on my mouse, and it's moving. If you spam, if you spam left to right, you, you can see it a little bit better. You'll see how it's tracking targets by itself a little bit. It's not perfect. It's aim assist. You still got to aim a little bit, but yeah. It's going to be most effective up close, like SMGs. Another way you can feel the aim assist is when you move your crosshair. When you're moving your crosshair, you're going to feel a little bit of slowdown. You'll feel a little bit of slowdown on the target. You, this is most noticeable if you come into a map like this and targets are flying down. So if I kill this character here, you'll watch them fly down. Like these characters, you'll feel it a lot when they're flying down like this. Sometimes you got to recenter your aim because the, the aim assist will be a little bit behind them. That's just a little bit of information on how it works and if you know it's working. Because the way I set this uh, comp, the way I set the configs up, it's still going to show mouse commands on the bottom. And this is just with an in-game setting in Fortnite. There's nothing special I'm doing. So, yeah, let's go over the settings. If we come here, I'll let you look at my graphic settings. This is all preference, you know, to what you use. If you want, you want to see that. I, I don't really mess with too much. I'm not... A stickler for settings a lot but yeah so I mean I'll just scroll through some of these so you can see what I'm using currently there's some of them are really important so you need to follow along uh, when we get to them I will point them out Gyro aiming, you need to make sure is off. This turns aim assist off. So if you want aim assist, you need to make sure these settings are off. In the mouse tab right here, mouse and keyboard tab, this is one of the, these are this is where the important settings start. Your sensitivity doesn't matter, but this this is how you make it where it only shows mouse and keyboard commands. So you want to ignore controller put input off because we don't want it to ignore the controller input. We're trying to get aim assist. You want to lock input method as mouse. You want this on, and this is what makes it show only mouse and keyboard binds in game. So that's super important there. Um, your key binds, this is gonna work with your normal build binds and stuff, so make sure your build binds are set in your keyboard controls. Now this is the, mo the most important tab besides the uh, lock input is mouse right here. So I'm gonna scroll through these and you can copy some of the settings here if you want. Uh, all right, so use advanced options. You need to make sure this is on. This is your build mode, mode sensitivity multiplier. So if you want building faster, you'll raise this a little bit. And edit mode multiplier right here. If 
you want to raise, you can raise this a little bit. If you're playing ballistic, this is your first person mode sensitivity. So this is how you change that. I haven't played ballistic yet. I just played, I've been playing BR, but I'm going to hop in it eventually and test it out. I've heard aim assist works a little bit differently, but I'm not entirely sure. We'll see eventually. Uh, look horizontal and vertical speed. I had this set at 99. You can set it to 100. It doesn't matter. I just have it set to this. I just didn't change it, and it worked fine for me, and I like it. ADS uh, horizontal and vertical speed right here. This is your aim down sight speed. I have this set to 77. If it's too slow, you can raise it. If you want it slower, you can lower it. Lower sensitivities, you typically can feel aim assist a bit more, but sometimes it'll lag behind. Look input curve, extremely important. Set to exponential. And there's two new aim assist settings uh, since the last time I created a config, and that's tracking and precision aim assist. I have precision aim assist set to 44. You can experiment with this. Some people like it at 60. Some people like it all the way up. Tracking aim assist strength, I leave all the way up. Another super important setting, the dead zones, this is what's going to make it feel right, is 5% and 5%. This is as low as it'll go. Okay, so in the controller mapping, this is super important. If you're playing builds, you want to you want to set your controller binding presets to Combat Pro, and this will allow you to build in game with your normal binds. I got some gameplay using the config. If you want to see it in use, I played OG mode Fortnite. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Hit the like and subscribe if you forgot. Much love. Enjoy the gameplay. Peace.